self-induction effect. When the switch in diagram is closed or opened, the magnetic flux in the coil changes to create the same conditions without allowing the current to flow through the coil. It will become the same as moving a magnet in and out of the coil as shown in diagram. Moving a magnet in and out of a coil causes an electromotive force to be generated in the coil. This electromotive force is generated regardless of whether a current flows in the coil. Thus, the magnetic flux variances that result from the flow or stoppage of current through the coil cause the same coil to generate an electromotive force. This phenomenon is called the self-induction effect. Mutual induction effect Two coils are arranged in the diagram. When the current that flows through one coil, primary coil, is changed, an electromotive force will be generated in the other coil, secondary coil. In the direction that prevents the magnetic flux in the primary coil from changing. This phenomenon is called the mutual induction effect. A voltage transformer utilizes this effect. A voltage transformer, which is contained in the ignition coil of a vehicle, is used to apply a high voltage to the spark plugs. Because the magnetic flux does not change if a constant current flows through the primary coil, no electromotive force will be generated in the secondary coil. When the primary current is disrupted by turning the switch from on to off, the magnetic flux that was generated by the primary current up to that point disappears, suddenly. Thus. An electromotive force will be created in the secondary coil in the direction that will prevent the elimination of the magnetic flux. Thus, a voltage transformer allows current to flow to the primary coil, and when the current is cut off, the high voltage that is generated by the self-induction effect of the primary coil is further increased between the primary and secondary coils through the mutual induction effect. The amount of inductive electromotive force that is generated by this device changes with the following conditions, the changing speed of the magnetic flux. With a given amount of change in the magnetic flux, a change that occurs within a shorter time generates a greater amount of electromotive force. The amount of magnetic flux The greater the amount of change of magnetic flux, the greater the electromotive force will be. number of windings of the secondary coil, with a given amount of change in magnetic flux. The greater the number of windings, the greater the amount of electromotive force will be. Thus, in order to generate a high secondary voltage, the current that flows to the primary coil should be as great as possible, and then the current should be cut off suddenly, 